Welcome, these are 10 animal hybrids you won't believe actually exist. Number 10. Narluga A narluga is a mix of a narwhal, which is a whale, with a single horn sticking out of its head, gaining the name the unicorn of the sea, and a beluga, which is an all-white or gray whale. Both live in the Arctic and the subarctic, but generally they stay in their own territories. The hybrids have very big heads with burly snouts and thicker lower jaws. While they are often darker in color, similar to narwhals, they lack the distinctive horn of the narwhal. The hybridization only happens in the wild, and it's believed that climate change is responsible for pushing the two whales into the same areas of the ocean, which led to interbreeding between the two whales. Number 9. Growler also called a pizzly bear, the growler is a hybrid between a grizzly bear and a polar bear. They occur both in nature and in captivity. No one is exactly sure how the hybrids happen because while polar bears and grizzlies live in the same areas, they generally avoid each other. Yet there have been a few confirmed sightings and two were even shot by hunters, one in 2006 and another in 2010. Growler bears' body sizes are generally smaller than a polar bear but bigger than a grizzly. They also have long necks, which is a trait in polar bears, and they have smaller shoulder humps that are similar to a grizzly. Polar bears have hair on their paws, grizzlies don't, so one interesting thing about polar bears is that their fur isn't white, instead the hair strands are hollow, while grizzly hair is solid. Growlers generally have a mix of the two types of fur. Over most of the body is hollow hair, but closer to the paws is solid hair. Number 8. Savannah Cat A serval is a wild cat that is found in Africa, and in 1986 someone decided to crossbreed it with a domestic Siamese cat, producing the Savannah Cat. Besides Siamese cats, servals can also be crossbred with Egyptian mouse. Aussie cats, oriental shorthairs, and domestic shorthairs. The cat, which is loyal like a dog, shares a lot of similarities with its wild cousin, the serval. They have the same color markings, their legs are very long, and they have tall, rounded, erect ears, puffy noses, and have hooded eyes. They are also known for their jumping ability. It's easy for many savanna cats to jump to the top of doors and refrigerators from a sitting position. They've been measured to jump 8 feet from a seated position. Another notable difference between savanna cats versus other domestic cats is that savannas love water and are known to swim. Number 7. Beefalo Beefalo sounds like something you'd find at the most rootinous tootinous Texas steakhouse in the world, but it's actually a real crossbreed of cow and American buffalo. The first ones were accidentally crossbred in 1749, and a prison warden in Winnipeg, Canada intentionally bred the first beefalo in 1880. According to the American Beefalo Association, beefalo can tolerate the cold better than traditional cattle, but they are docile and grow quickly, like cattle. Beefalo is mostly used for meat, and it apparently has 4-6% to more protein than standard beef, and it is also more tender flavorful and nutritious, so maybe you will see it at some crazy Texas steakhouse soon. Number 6. Wolfen The animal hybrid with the most misleading name is the Wolfen because it sounds like maybe it's a mixture of a whale and a dolphin, but it is actually a mix between a male false killer whale and a female bottlenose dolphin. False killer whales look a lot like a killer whale, but they belong to a different genus, the same one that the dolphins belong to, which is why the hybridization is possible. While there are reports of them existing in the wild, they are incredibly rare. They have also been bred with moderate success in captivity. Currently there are two at Sea Life Park in Hawaii. How wolfins are different than their parents is that bottlenose dolphins may have about 88 teeth and a false killer whale has about 44, resulting in wolfins having 66 teeth. They are also bigger than 6-foot dolphins but smaller than a 14-foot false killer whale. Number 5. 
Jag Lion. At the Black Creek Sanctuary in Barrie, Canada, Lola, a female lion, and Diablo, a male panther, shared a cage habitat together. It was believed that Lola couldn't get pregnant, and the two were inseparable. They arrived at the sanctuary within a week of each other as cubs and always lived together. When they were separated, it affected their personalities and Lola became so depressed that she didn't eat. So they were kept together, and it led to the birth of two jag lions, Jazara, who is black and female, and Tsunami, who is male and yellow. Both look very much like lions, but they have spots and are sleek like jaguars. Number 4. Iron Age Pig All of the animals on this list were crossbred to create a new species that is uncommon. The Iron Age Pig, however, was bred to resemble a pig that used to exist during the Iron Age which started sometime between 1200 and 500 BC. The hybrid is created by breeding a wild boar with a domestic pig sow. They're harder to handle and more aggressive than domestic pigs, so they are not popular among pig farmers. They are generally only bred for specialty meat markets in Europe. Number 3. Kama If you like camels but are not a fan of the hump, or like llamas, but think they drink too much water, a comma may be the animal for you. Commas, C-A-M-A-S, not C-O-M-M-A-S, are herbivore animals that don't have humps. They are smaller than camels but larger than llamas, and they can go a long time without water. The first comma was created via artificial insemination in a laboratory in Dubai. This would never happen in real life because llamas are a South American animal while camels are found in Asia. Another problem is that male camels are six times bigger than female llamas, so that would make mating very difficult. They tested impregnating a female llama with sperm from a male dromedary camel and vice versa, but found it only worked with the female llama and a male camel. Number 2. Zors and Zongra Zebras' closest relatives are donkeys and horses, both of which were domesticated by humans. So why weren't zebras ever used for farm work or travel? After all, there are some benefits that zebras have over equine, like they are more resistant to African diseases. The problem with them is they can be unpredictable, and if they're stressed, they can panic. For that reason, since about 1815, there have been attempts to crossbreed zebras with donkeys called donkras and horses, which are called zorses. Both hybrids look like their non-zebra parent, but they have stripes on different parts of their bodies. The hybrids have a slightly better temperament than zebras, but still are not as easy to handle as purebred horses. Number 1. Liger It turns out that Napoleon Dynamite's favorite animal is not a figment of his imagination. It's actually a crossbreed of a male lion and a female tiger. There are legends of ligers in the wild, but today they are bred in captivity because in the wild, lions and tigers do not live in the same area. One notable thing about ligers is that they are huge. In fact, they are the biggest living felines in the world, meaning they grow larger than either parent species, which is rare in hybrids. Male ligers are 9.5 to 12 feet long and they often weigh over 800 pounds. The largest liger in the world, Hercules, weighs 922 pounds. Subscribe for more.